Kyle, Jackie O. Kyle and Jackie O. This is the Kyle and Jackie O Show. Yeah, Philippa Christian's a nanny. She's got a book out called Nanny Confidential. It's available in all good bookstores as of today. Oh, Philippa joins us now. Good morning, Philippa. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Jackie O. How are Hello. you, honey? Hello. Good, you, thanks. How are you? Good. Very so you've good. been a nanny to a lot of, uh, a lot, a lot well of well-known known. people. You can't name names in the book. No, uh, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do name professions, though. Yeah, okay. Oh, good. So, so like a lot actors, of actors, sports people, those yeah, type so, of types. Um, like reality TV stars, royalty, um, singers, sporting legends. Oh, which royalty? Who, um, uh, well, Middle or Eastern royalty, and there's one other, but I can't really say the other one. <laughs> oh, nice. What has there been any real out there ones? I heard there's one in particular. She's been labelled America's sweetheart. Really? However, all your nanny friends have worked for this woman, and she is a nightmare. She goes through nannies mm-hmm. like tissues. <laughs> what makes this woman a nightmare? Um, I think that you know when you work in Hollywood, it's you, you soon really realise that one minute you're in and one minute you're out, and um, if you don't comply. To to everything that's asked of you, you can be replaced tomorrow, and you know it's 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 a very tricky job because you fall in love with the children and you do anything you can to stay. So you do end up um, working ridiculous hours and doing things that you usually wouldn't uh, oblige to doing. <laughs> what are the What are the weird things that you've been asked or ha- a weird rules you've had to follow? Oh well, I mean. Most of the time, I mean, you've got to work as a decoy for your boss. So sometimes you'll get employed because you look very similar to uh, the mother of the house and oh. you have to put on her sunglasses and get in her car and drive out of the driveway and so the, the paparazzi will follow you and then she leaves in the meantime and by the time you come back, she's left. So it's that's sort of a regular thing to have to do. But, Did I you mean, work pap- for this particular America's Sweetheart? No, I haven't worked for that you one. You didn't but personally. No. Okay, <laughs> all right. Um, but yeah, the paparazzi, I mean, that's a that's a struggle in itself every day. One of A former nanny told me that um, the word paparazzi actually translates to buzzing mosquito in Italian which I think is a pretty fitting um, Are they really a nightmare, word? are they? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you know, most children you know, when they go to bed they have nightmares of monsters and ghosts and their toys coming to life but these little children fear being chased all the time and oh. these people will, you know, provoke their parents to lash out and to test their tolerance to get that one photo and they'll always sort of fluctuate in numbers around times of child custody battles or public divorces or, right. you know, getting released from rehab. They like know the worst the time, time in someone's come. life. That's, That's exactly, yeah. yeah. So yeah. a lot of my bosses have moved to New York or moved to Nashville just to get away from these people. Oh, Nashville, hey? Oh, hey? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that narrows it down. <laughs> sit down <laughs> um, and uh, I, I know this is not you but you know of a nanny who left her job because she fell pregnant with her boss's child and to this day nobody knows the media yeah. have no idea that she no. has a child to this person yeah so there's only three people that we've absolutely had to swear on this because he's a very is a very influential sort of person in the media and mm-hmm. um We've just promised that we won't do it to him and and we and to her and we, it's just one of those things that you have to. Does a does a wife about. know about this? Uh, nanny? Uh, yes, she she, she does. knows, yeah. right? Oh well, the Arnold Schwarzenegger thing is it? No, no, <laughs> she was the cleaner oh, by the way. Her, she wasn't the, the cleaner. Nanny. That's right. And I, like, what a, and I thought, wow, if she got if Arnie got up that, then like Arnie would pretty much do anything. <laughs> oh, well, okay, that's you another story. see the photos? Story. I was shocked. When you talk about the media and paparazzi, what are, I know you said you've been there when some of these celebrities have seen bad things written about them in the media mm. or Perez Hilton doing yeah. nasty things. How, how do they react to that? Oh, I mean, they react like anyone else would. I, I know a lot of people say you've got to take the high ground and, and not be affected by it, but I think it's only natural that everyone does get down on those kinds of things. And, and part of my job, you know, sometimes has been to have to go to the supermarket and buy these magazines and bring them home because they don't want to be known as buying them themselves. Yes. Yeah. Um, but they then, do know, read them. Oh, definitely. I mean, they're on Perez Hilton. They've got it as their home, sc- you know, as their home screen on their computers. Do <laughs> they? they? Of Isn't course. that funny? They make out like <laughs> they don't read these things, but <laughs> I bet they, they do. do. We yeah. ask oh, nearly every celebrity that comes in, oh, do you read all the stuff? And they go, oh, no, no. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they oh, all say no. You've got to pretend do. that it doesn't well, exist. It, and you know they're lying. It's what keeps them going. And I think that they, you know, I mean, they at the end of the day, the paparazzi, I know that they're a pain, but they... They can create the person as well. It's it's just yeah. as good as it is, con- you know, as it yeah. is bad. And they want to know what their f- their celebrity friends are up to and what are the trends. And, and did what you ever work for uh, Britney or know anyone that worked for Britney? Because like you know, she's been had her ups and downs in life. 
Yeah, one of my best friends, Leah Frant, um, was Britney Spears' former nanny, and she worked for her through the whole head shaving incident. Oh, oh my God. That's a, do you know when we wow. were, Jackie and I were over there uh, for a, during that period, during the head shaving incident, we actually dressed someone up as Britney. That was me. That the, was me, Doug. Yeah, that's, oh, that's right. You dressed up <laughs> oh, with the pink wig on. Oh, my God. You should have seen we hovered around her house. And I was driving, remember? <laughs> the amount of paparazzi that followed us. It, it yeah. is crazy, though, because they're very, very aggressive, aren't they? Oh, I know. She's but, living in Caesar's Palace now. Well, oh, yes, yeah. she's doing Let the Let me tell you what happened stint. there. Jackie had the pink wig on in the back seat. <laughs> I was driving the big Escalade black four-wheel drive thing. <laughs> we went into Britney's sort of gated area and then just came back out. All the paparazzi chased us down to Hollywood <laughs> Boulevard. Yeah. And then uh, I was ordering a, a, a Whopper in Hungry Jack's or Burger King over there. And then when they realised that we weren't Britney... <laughs> they all turned on us, oh, like they? started threatening oh, really? to kill us. It was like we were faced yeah. with the mafia. Yeah, they're like, we're going to kill you! Like, they're all Mexicans, <laughs> all threatening. It was awful. You say <laughs> that celebrity lifestyles are great highs and great lows. Is mm-hmm. that correct? Yes, definitely. Um, the highs yeah. are very high and the lows are very low. Oh, I thought you meant they're always high and they're getting low. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot How of that going on. How bad are the lows? Though. You've seen a few lows in your time? Yeah, um, definitely. I mean, look, even sort of the impact on the children of, of sort of the lifestyles of the rich and the famous can be quite a downfall. And, you know, children going to school and having kids in their class say, oh, my, my mum thinks your dad's, a, you know, crazy and all this sort of thing. Oh, and you've got to yeah. deal with that. And, I mean, you don't want anything to affect a child and especially some, someone bad-mouthing their parents. You've got to build that parent up no matter what who they are to be, you know, a complete and utter, you know, idol to that child. That's, that's part yeah. of the did job. You, did you ever dislike someone you worked for? Um, look, I think that... A lot of these people are very, very tricky to work for and very challenging. But then again, a lot of them are absolutely beautiful to work for. And, um, I mean, you know, a lot of people ask what are some crazy some crazy things that they do and that they mm. ask you to do. But if those things kind of make them happy, um, and I've always said that a happy parent makes a happy family. You know, happy parents make a happy Look, yeah. Susie, um, your children. novel is based on your life as a nanny for people like reality stars, talk show hosts, Victoria's mm-hmm. Secret models... A-list models or A-list superstars. Oh, God, I wish you'd just tell me some names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, um, the contracts are really binding. It's like um, I was sort of, I said in an earlier radio interview that, um, you know, you can't have a boyfriend or any male friends. You can't, you've got a curfew of 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, that's my um, rule for all my staff as no well. No boyfriends. <laughs> no boyfriends yeah. or girlfriends. Wow, no, so I, did you ever get to a point where you met someone and couldn't let it go any further? Um, not really, because, I mean, you're working seven days a week and your mind just isn't there. Your mind is purely on the fact of the, of the children the whole time. You don't really have any time to, to yeah. even see your friends. This is where Jackie and... goes wrong. Uh, she's got an assistant at the moment who's pregnant and obviously going to take maternity leave, yeah. where I forbid my staff <laughs> to have any relationship. You're not allowed to actually do that. <laughs> you're not allowed to? No. Oh, well, I'm getting away yeah. with it for years. Yeah. Well, well these, these people wouldn't let you have a boyfriend. I didn't think that was uh, you're allowed to do allowed what you want. To well, you're that. allowed to do what you want. It's it's tricky sometimes because um, you know, you live in these gated communities and you're not allowed out of the gates a lot of the time. And the nannies that you're working alongside who, who will live in your gates, a lot of them are sort of you know Latino or Mexican, Filipino. They don't speak a lot of English, so um, you're quite limited to the friends that you can make because you just yeah. they don't speak the same language as you do. So there's, right. in your free time, there's not a hell of a lot to do really. Do the celebrities treat you like part of the family, or do you feel like you're the nanny? You're segregated, off you go kind of thing. Um, it's funny. It depends on the culture, really, and the, the sort of the nationalities. But most of the time, you do definitely feel like a family member. I mean, you're um, invited out to events, and they talk to you like a friend. I mean, once the yeah. kids go to bed, that's your time to just sit on the couch together and talk. And, oh, and, so you, you do know. hang around and just chat with them afterwards? Oh, def- yeah, definitely. You become you become a really good friend. You become you know part of the family oh. for sure. Do you, are you allowed to say anything about someone you've worked for in a positive light? Like my favourite or the nicest person I worked for was son. So you're not men- mentioning yeah. any. Non- Disclosure form um, is a non-disclosure form, Jackie. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd love to, but I think now that I've got Nanny Confidential, the book out, um, better not. I just have to be so careful. <laughs> yep, fair so, enough. So uh, your life as a nanny is now finished? You're now an author or are you going to um, still do it? Yeah, well, the book's now um, in talks uh, with a major production company in California to be turned into a movie, which is exciting because oh. um, I think only 8% of Hollywood mo- Hollywood you know, movies are based on true stories, and those five words based on a true story captures the audience quite quickly, I think. Yeah. I agree. Um, so that's sort of happening. Who would you like to play you? Oh, oh I'd love, like, oh, Rachel McAdams, I think, would be great. Oh, come on, let's <laughs> yeah, be realistic. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Rachel McAdams is great. You've got a, a Reese Witherspoon vibe to you as well. <laughs> 
legally blonde. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could be her. Uh, but um yes, I, Unless I mean, of course she's the nanny. Has any of the husbands <laughs> has any of the husbands tried to have their way with you? Uh, no, this is a this is always like the first question I get asked, and, and no, it's not. I think that they they realise quite quickly that you're there to do your job and you're yeah. professional, and you're not going to do it. You'd never do anything like that to the to the children and to the wife. You just yeah. it's just out of the question. All right, well, Philippa, thanks for joining no us. No wonder most people have got Filipinos and Mexicans working for them. Eh? <laughs> Why? Oh, oh, you know, nanny no confidential. It's hey, available in all good bookstores today. Thanks, Philippa. Thanks, thanks for having me. <laughs>